Exposing how the intuitive empath trains to become a super empath. Compared to others, empaths possess exceptional strengths that stand out as the most notable. And cultivating your empathetic abilities will unquestionably benefit you in numerous facets of your life. Among these include cultivating compassion, fostering intuition, and establishing a profound connection with others and the earth. If you do not know how to utilize your empathic gift, it will simply weaken your mind and body. You are profoundly affected by the emotions and energy in your environment. Without adequate management and the mastery of certain safety measures, empathic skills are equivalent to continual anguish, emotional roller coasters, and constant tiredness. Conversely, an empath with smart and energy-efficient tools is unstoppable. Then, how can an empath transition from being overwhelmed to skilled? This tutorial is not based on exact science, but these strategies will undoubtedly aid your development as an empath. In any case, if you appreciate viewing this video, please like and share it so that other empaths can train to become super empaths. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe so you don't miss any updates that you might find interesting. Let's begin. 1. Recognize when you are in the burden period. The vast majority of empaths may experience this upon discovering their unique powers. It is the phase in which you feel that your sensitivity is a burden, a deficiency, or something you must eliminate. You know in your heart that you are more sensitive than others, but you strive to disregard this fact in order to be like other people. You may have recently discovered that you are an empath, or you may have no idea. Regardless, you are aware that something is wrong with you. What you must do is to surrender. Relax your body, take a deep breath, and surrender without resistance to whatever emotion you are experiencing. Nonetheless, you must be aware of it. Understand the pain you are experiencing and how it occurs. 2. Observe. After allowing yourself to consciously experience all of your internal hurts and feelings, it is time to engage in some observation. Determine why you are experiencing these emotions in the first place. What are the stimuli? What do they look like, sound like, smell like, or even taste like? Use your five senses to create a concrete image of the threat, and you will be able to devise a countermeasure to defend yourself. For instance, anxiety may cause you to feel so ill that you are incapable of performing tasks. Or the overwhelming emotions seem as a horrible, choking sound that causes you to perspire profusely. Remember that it is simpler to say than to actually allow your emotions to flow like water. And it is even more difficult to notice these emotions without being attracted to them. 3. Move on to the self-care fundamental step. Now that you realize it is futile to deny your emotions, you finally resolve to give in and allow yourself to feel them. Then it is time to care for yourself better. This type of self-care is generally beneficial regardless of whether you are an empath or not. I mean, now that you are aware of your circumstance. You can begin to avoid such overstimulating surroundings or schedule time for yourself to relax and process information. Do everything possible to make peace with your sensitivity. At this stage, you know that you can perform more effectively if you limit your daily stimulation intake. 4. The phase of energy healing. You must understand that avoiding triggers alone is insufficient. There are moments when you must leave regardless. Therefore, it is vital to learn how to recover your energy. Practicing meditation, for instance, can help you calm your mind and discharge bad emotions. And combined with effective shielding techniques, you will be able to prevent other people's energy from entering your space. 5. Hone your empathetic skill and attain mastery over it. Now that you are aware that being an empath is not simple, you must learn how to use your talent without significantly altering your own circumstances. It's about reprogramming your mind to let and stop absorbing the emotions and grief of others. Despite the difficulty, you are now able to comprehend what it is like to be an empath. You may feel more at ease, less overwhelmed by crowds, and more at home in your own flesh. 
Eventually, you will have a greater command of your abilities to the point that you can employ them rapidly. Now you know how to comprehend the energy of others without becoming fatigued. This will provide you with a skill that enables you to better understand others and assist them in any way. In addition, when you take charge of your life, you will experience a life that is better than before. 6. Achieving Clarity and Complete Comprehension As you gain mastery over your empathic talent, you may now navigate among crowds without feeling overwhelmed. You may perceive the emotions of others without having to adopt them yourself. You may need to delve deeper and assess whether you can do something about these emotions. And if you did take up something, you can swiftly discharge those emotions. At this time, you can distinguish between your feelings and those of others. You absorb less energy and are more attuned to the energy around you. Congratulations! You have just become a proficient empath. Now you understand that being an empath is a lifestyle. You will need to continually monitor yourself and release any energies that are not yours. Remember that the task has only just begun. It is still ongoing. So what are your thoughts on this? I hope you enjoy seeing this video. And if you have any views or experiences to contribute, please do so in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to join our notification squad. Thank you for watching this video.